I can bring content from a third-party system into my Haiku class as a SCORM module. And I can do that for any version of SCORM. So either 1.2 or 2004 at this point. And here's how I do that. So I'm logged in as the teacher of the class Computers 101, and I've got two different SCORM modules I want to bring in. So I'm going to add the quiz as a content block on my home page. To do that, I click the Add Content Block link. And in the small window that loads, I need to select the Connect and Assess tab. And then I choose SCORM activity. Now this particular activity is one I had created in SoftChalk, and I've already exported it into the SCORM format. So now all I need to do is choose the file. So I click the Choose File button. I find the zip file that includes my activity. Click the Open button. I can see that the activity is correct. And now I click this Upload button. So now I'm on step two of two, and this is going to be a practice quiz. So I'll simply title it Practice Quiz. I could type any details here if I'd like to. I could also display additional SCORM navigation if I wanted to do that. I don't want to do either of those things at this point, so I go ahead and click Save and Publish. And after that, I can set when students can take the activity. So anytime or within a date range. I'm going to leave it at any time. I can set whether or not they are allowed to take it late. And I can also create a gradebook entry in Haiku. So I'll go ahead and create the gradebook entry, and I'm going to make this quiz worth 20 points. I'm done with this, so I click the Finish button. And now I can see a summary of what's happening. So there's the SCORM activity practice quiz. It is open as of 6.04 today, and it's worth 20 points. Back on the main screen, I can see that that quiz is now listed at the top of the left-hand column. I can move that activity somewhere else on the page by dragging it and dropping it. There's another way to add SCORM activities too, and that's by going to the Assess tab and choosing SCORM activities. When I go to this listing page, I can see two different types of activities. I have those that are published, and I have those that are in a draft status. Now draft simply means that it's not ready for students yet. So if I go back to my published activities, I can see here's the practice quiz that I just entered. There's no due date because I didn't set one, and it's currently open. At this point, I could also view any results if the students had actually taken it yet. I can preview it to see what it looks like for students. I can close the activity so that they can no longer take it. I can switch it to draft status, or I could delete it. I have a second activity that I want to add, and I can do that either from the Pages tab where I just was, so putting it in my class website as a content block, or I can add it directly from the SCORM Activities page here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by clicking the Add Activity button. And now I see the familiar screen. So these are the steps I just went through. So again, I choose a file. And this time, I'm going to choose a different one. So this isn't the soft chalk test. This is one that has golf examples. So I'm going to choose Sequencing Random Tests. And this content has been exported as SCORM version 2004. So it's slightly different, but it will still work. So back on the main screen, I can see that this is the file that I want to upload. It's correct, so I hit the Upload button. So this is going to be Sequencing Random Test. Again, I could add detail if I want. I could set additional navigation to display. I don't want either of those things. So now I can either save and publish, save it as a draft, or I could discard this by choosing Cancel. I'll go ahead and save and publish. And once again, I can set when students take the activity, whether they can take it after it's closed, and I can also set the gradebook up to record the scores. So this activity I will make for 50 points. And now because I added the activity from the listing page rather than as a content block, I have the option of placing this activity within my class website. So to do that, I click the drop-down button and I say which page I want this to show up on. I'll go ahead and choose the home page. And now I can select a block. So this is very similar to what we just walked through. So I'm going to put this at the bottom of the right-hand column so it'll show up just below my practice quiz. I'm done, so I click the Finish button. 
And once again, I can see a summary of the activity I just added. So it is open as of today at 608. I can preview the activity if I'd like. I can view any student results. There's nothing there at this point, so I will click the close button. Now I can see there's the sequencing random test listed here. So now I can see what the SCORM activities will look like to students by previewing them. And I do that by going to Manage Activity and selecting Preview. And that's really all there is to importing SCORM content.